Hi, I'm Riley from Codica School, and welcome to our beginner's guide to Roblox Studio. At Codica, we teach coding and game dev to kids and teens. If you enjoy this video, feel free to check out our website if you want to learn more about coding. What is Roblox Studio? Well, Roblox Studio is like a blank canvas where you can create your own virtual worlds, games, and experiences. It's a place where your imagination can run wild. Let's dive into Roblox Studio and explore what it has in its features. So here's a quick rundown of the interface. The top up here has home, model, avatar, test, view, and even plugins. For this video, we're gonna open up our view and explorer. We're gonna look at what we have in our game and we see we have items, map, and a spawn. This is my game. You guys probably don't have much in your scene, but you should have some things. So when you start off, you can open up properties by going here and adjusting things. Now in this example, this is a transparent part, so I'm going to adjust the property to zero. Now it's not transparent and I can see it. Cool. Um, what else could I do? You might be wondering. Well, my favorite color is blue, so I'm going to change this to blue. Now I have a blue spawn in my game. Very simple to change simple settings, but if you want to add cooler stuff, you can actually play with the toolbox as well. The toolbox is a toolbox that has assets and inventories of other people's objects that you could use in your game. As you can see, there's ratings on them and you could check the ones that look good. I'm going to look up a cool car. Wow, it'd be cool to drive one of these around. Let's put it in our game. It tells you when there's scripts and I'm going to click OK to that. I don't think it's a big deal, I plan to delete it later, but it's cool to see what's in the game. This is how you import toolbox tools and inventory stuff. It's very handy and a good essential thing to know in Roblox. Now, earlier I mentioned I was going to delete this from my workspace. How I do that is use, using the delete key, or I can right click the object and even delete it that way. Delete, see it tells you the keys of what you can use. Example, if I wanted to duplicate this object, it says control D is the option. So I'm gonna put my hand on my keyboard and press control D. And then I'm gonna move the object by clicking it with my mouse and just dragging it. Now we have a second one in our scene. Another interesting tool to use is the move tool. You can adjust things in your scene with the move tool itself. It's more precise than using the select and you probably want to do it when you're designing little things. Additionally, you may want to scale it. I was going to make this a toy car, but let's make it a giant car. So we're going to move it and let's do this. Cool. And let's, this looks like a toy car beside it. So that's an example of scaling. You have to press one of the buttons, either the green, red, or blue, to change the scale of the object. If I'm pressing green, it's changing these. Blue changes these. It's always different depending on the object. And another little trick is when I want to view it, see how I was over here? I'm pressing F on my keyboard, and it jumps straight to it very easy. So now that we have these cars in our scene, I'm just going to delete them because I don't think we need them. But I am going to show you guys a few more things before the video ends. We're going to start off by inserting a part by clicking part. So we're going to go to model, change the default color that we want to place. We're going to place a yellow brick. Let's place this part. Boom. Now we have a part. Now some people may want to know, how do I script in Roblox? Is it different than other engines? And that's a good question. What we're going to do in this video is apply a script inside of this object. So all I did there was click in my explorer where the object was, and there's a little plus button over here where you can apply scripts. It's really cool and handy. It's a very useful tool. When you run the game with this script, it's going to print hello world. Let's script something else for this video. What we're going to do first is highlight everything and delete it. We don't want anything in our output and any issues. We're going to write local part equals script dot parent. And that means that the part is the parent of the script. That's an easy way to understand it. The script's parent. So that means right here is the part where that's where we're going to get the properties of it. This is a comment. If you see something like this, it doesn't do anything in your code. It's just a comment. This will do nothing. And it's very helpful for instructions. It's good to comment your code if you're not sure what you're doing. Next, I'm going to write part. Then I'll write touched. Then I'll write connect. Then I'll write function. 
And then we're going to put in another bracket, opening bracket, and write touch. Then we're going to write end, and this is going to put our function together. We could print stuff in here, but we're not going to. We're going to change our part property. When it touches, we're going to change it. Well, maybe we should make sure it's a player first. So write local player equal game dot players get player from character touch dot parent and then if player then we do something and this is a basic if statement if the player touches the part it will change now my favorite color today will be red so we're going to change the brick color of the game or the part i mean to be red so we go new we write brick color dot new and then we have to put brackets and a number the default color 000 would be i think black or white but we're going to put one because this is what we want to do next we're going to run our script so i'm going to hit play and we're going to see if the script runs so we originally have it a yellow script or yellow brick and when we run to it and if a pl player touches it Ta-da, it's red. Congratulations, now you have a basic understanding of Roblox Studio. It's time to start experimenting and creating your own games. Remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave a comment. To learn more about Roblox coding classes, visit our website codyco.ca. You can register for a trial class down in the bottom on the Roblox section, and together we can learn and explore the Codica school and unleash your creativity in Roblox Studio. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Have a great day.